this video, you will learn to express numbers using expanded notation. Two friends are disagreeing about the standard form for 7,000 plus 40 plus 2. Sue says the answer is 742. Miwa says the answer is 7,042. Who is correct? To solve this, you need to understand standard and expanded form. While this may sound complicated, it really isn't. We are used to seeing numbers a certain way. 423, 56,809. These numbers are written in standard form. What does it mean to expand numbers into expanded form? Let's start with 423. First, think about the place value and actual value of each digit. The 3 is in the 1's place. It has a value of 3. The 2 is in the 10's place. 2 10's has a value of 20. The 4 is in the 100's place. It has a value of 4 hundred. To write an expanded form, we put the values together from largest to smallest in an addition equation. 400 plus 20 plus 3. Let's try our larger number. 56,809. Right now it's written in standard form. We need to expand it. First, think about the place value and actual value of each digit. The 9 is in the 1's place. It has a value of 9. The 0 is in the 10's place and has no value. However, in standard form, it's an important placeholder, so the numbers around it land in the correct places. The 8 is in the 100's place. It has a value of 800. Notice there are two digits after the 8 in the number, and two zeros after the 8 when giving its value. The 6 is in the thousands place. Six thousands has a value of 6,000. Notice there are three digits after the 6 in the number, and three zeros after the 6 when giving its value. The 5 is in the ten thousands place. Five tens are 50, so five ten thousands has a value of 50,000. Notice there are four digits after the five in the number and four zeros after the five when giving its value. To write an expanded form, we put the values together from largest to smallest in an addition equation, but we don't include any values of zero. We have 50,000 plus 6,000 plus 800 plus nine. Do we need to follow all of these steps every time? No, but seeing them helps to understand how it all works. Let's look at a shorter version of expanding numbers by expanding 29,031. Start with the 2. It is in the 10,000's place. 2 tens is 20, and it is worth 20,000. It has four digits after it, so it will have four zeros after it when expanded. Next is the 9. It is in the 1,000's place, and is worth 9,000. It has three digits after it, so it will have three zeros after it when expanded, like this. We don't include any values of zero, so we skip the hundreds and move on to the three. The three stands for three tens and has a value of 30. Last and least, we need to add the one. Now back to our two friends who are disagreeing about the standard form for 7,000 plus 40 plus two. Sue says it's 742, and Miwa says it's 7,042. Who is correct? Look for the largest place value. It is 7,000. This tells us that our number in standard form will have four digits. The thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. The seven goes into the largest place, the thousands. It is the fourth digit from the left and has the greatest value. The four stands for 40, or four tens. It goes into the tens place. The two goes into the ones place. You can see that one spot is empty. Remember, zeros are not included in expanded form. We need to fill in a zero in the hundreds place. As you can see, Miwa is correct. Zeros are tricky. In expanded form, we don't need to write the zero, but when writing the standard form, the zero is a very important placeholder. Thank you for watching.